What's up guys, Iris Tell here and welcome back to my how to series all on the operators. Today's episode all about fuse and how to play him effectively, where to play him, where not to play him, all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna jump straight into his operator video and I'll catch you straight after. Okay guys, so as you can see, Fuse actually has three main weapons. His first is the Ballistic Shield, which obviously is works the other way. As any Ballistic Shield does, you walk around and you have your secondary weapon out. We then have the 6P41 Light Machine Gun, which I've personally never used in-game. It's never been anything of my fancy, but it's a fairly good weapon from what I've seen of players using it. And his final weapon is the AK-12. Now I personally use this a lot compared to the Ballistic Shield, and I put an ACOG grip and silencer on it. Now obviously again you can mod these weapons out how you want and you can choose your primary weapons as you see fit. That's all personal preference. I then have the secondary which is a PMM handgun. This is the one that I use and I also put a laser sight on it. The reason for this is when you're using the shield you have to use a secondary weapon and putting a laser sight on it actually improves the accuracy of it. So that's worth noting guys. And then I also have the GSH-18. This is a pistol that does slightly less damage but it has a bit more ammo. So you're basically picking preference over ammo or damage. So that's again a personal preference. Then we look at gadgets. Breach, uh, Fuse has two main gadgets. The first is a breach charge, which is the one that I personally use in a lot of situations, and the other one is a stun grenade. Now, the breaching charge I use because I tend to find that players don't help each other, so I breach my way through rooms on my own, as otherwise you might get stuck outside of rooms. And then the stun grenades I'll use in a hostage situation because if I'm playing Fuse in a hostage, it might be to stop another player using him. Because I'm going to say now, guys, Fuse is a great class for killing enemies. But I cannot stress this enough, you should not, I repeat, should not be playing him in a hostage round. Because all you're going to do, more likely than not, is kill the hostage. And your team is going to hate you for it. So I'd say, guys, the only time you should play Fuse is to stop another player using him like an idiot. And like I said, with the gadgets, I tend to use the breaching charges, but stun grenades can be used as well. I'd say stun grenades if your team are co communicating well, and you know that you get a friend who can breach for you. So guys, we're going to move into the player, we're going to move into where you can place this device, what can stop him, and where the, some of the best placements are, and uh, what sort of things you need to look out for. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Fuse's ability is to place a cluster charge on a wall that launches grenades into a room. Now unfortunately, you can't place this on barricaded walls, so you're going to have to look for ones that aren't barricaded, or on doors, or on roofs, as you'll see in a second. Now before we get too far in the video, I want to talk about the two operators that can defeat Fuse. The first being Mute, you can stop all electrical devices, so that stops Fuse's device going off on a wall. So you want to listen out for that sound cue, guys, and watch out for placing your device on those kind of walls. The other operator that can stop him is Jaeger. Now, he has an ADS system that stops all grenades, so it doesn't just stop Fuse, it stops all grenades going into a room. So you'll find that Fuse will struggle when Jaeger is placed, although the ADS system doesn't get all of his grenades, so you still might have a chance of killing an enemy. Okay guys, so now we're going to talk about using Fuse to distraction. So as you can see here, I place the device on a window, and I then move around to the kid's bedroom, which is slightly around to the side. I then detonate the device so it comes in through the window, causing the enemy team to look through that window. I then place it on this wall, which I know also shoots into the room, and move off to the side. Now the reason for this is it gets the enemy to look at the wall where the device comes through, causing a distraction. Obviously in the 1v1 situation like we see here, it's not going to do as well for a distraction because there's only two of us. Whereas in a multiplayer situation, you'll find that that device will actually cause people to focus on the wall where the device comes through because they expect players to come through that wall next. So it's worth remembering guys, Fuse is not only a killing tool, but also a distraction tool as well. Okay guys, so I'm not going to teach you about proper placement on each individual wall because that would just take too long and it's something you really want to learn on your own. But I am going to teach you a little tip and trick about launching it through the floor into the room below. Now this is a trick that can't actually be defended against very well and will always get you a kill because normally the enemy team is surprised. There's actually no way to stop this as it goes through the roof which can't be stopped with a mute charge and it'll just hit the room and it will spread out. The only operator you've got to worry about with that is Jaeger. Now I'll show you this from the defending side. So as you can see I'm in the room and it comes through the roof 
and it just hits you. There's no way you can stop that. There's no way you're going to know where it comes from. And it's going to be a pretty easy kill for you guys. So if it's not a hostage round, guys, it's definitely something worth trying to get some kills. And that's Fuse, guys. So hopefully you've learned something new by watching this video, or maybe you've consolidated your own knowledge. Or maybe, you know, it's just giving you a little bit of information before you actually buy the operator yourself. So hopefully I've helped you guys, and if I have, hit that like button, subscribe for more operator videos coming soon, and I'll see you in the next one.